Hello and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. Today we are in the Palomin zone and we are going to be doing the quest Shady Neighbors. Um, so if we look at the map here, you zone in down here, you just go straight north right up here to the, uh, to the tree. And, uh, yeah, I guess the, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like this is like a precursor to, uh, greater fey but i could be wrong all right so uh the quest starts here with molly win so let's go and uh start here i have grabbed the three mercenary quests you can get them from uh soft so Sor sorafin <laughs> i don't know right over here and you just say all three and she gives you all three at the same time uh there's a little bit of overlap uh, with what we're doing today so make sure you have those all right so let's go and hail uh, molly win here molly win faces face could chisel stone with its deep wrinkles and jagged edges you can tell this man has been fighting some sort of fight for a long time here before apollo man was on fire gray ash flex Across his armor and hair, dark smears of soot can be found, can be seen, geez, I can't read today, can be seen on his hands and his face where his sweat would have collected the soot before he tried to wipe it all away. He addresses you in a way that tells you he doesn't expect you to survive much longer. Hail, he says with a wince. Hail is what you say when you have hope. If you can see the situation before your own eyes, then I wonder why you're so full of mirth and merriment. He gower, gowers, gowers, lowers, I don't even know what the word is, in the direction of the Rolosians for a moment before looking down at the ground near his feet and stomps out a glowing ember that had landed by him before continuing whatever i care not i have more pressing matters at hand what kind of matters molly Wynn cringes for a moment sighs and says as you can see our home is gone and our people are scattered those damn ralosians have sacked our home and have hunted us for sport he taps out another ember by his feet i have to confess the fires of our home are nothing compared to the rage i feel for these invaders alas i have my own people to think about as much as i feel that Ulthar is right i cannot drive headfirst into battle i want nothing more than give back the torment these monsters have brought us I want to be covered in their blood. I want them to know who I am and I want them to tell their children to fear me <laughs> with, with her when they are tucked in at night. Wow. Uh, Elthar? Molly Wynn scans the area you're in for a moment before continuing. Elthar is an eager warrior who has taken it upon herself to slay many of the Rallosians as she can her hubris is magnified by the fact she thinks she has been chosen for the role she is young and foolish she is going to get herself killed if she keeps going the way she does her, her advice has been to gather what we can and storm their camps killing their leadership and she thinks that will cause the rallo scenes to retreat i am not that foolhardy hardy I know that a direct assault on their camps would be the end of us. I don't intend to lose any more lives today. But I will take them when I can. Alright, full hearted. What, uh, why do you find the tactic to be full hearty? Because they are more tactical than Elthar thinks them to be. It would be like walking into where a trap should be and letting them build one <laughs> around you. We have to be subtle. 
and just as cunning. Lucky, luckily for us, Rallocians are monsters. And there is no honor among monsters. There is a member of the Rallocian leadership who is trying to climb up the ranks in their army to do say they feel they need to betray the other members of leadership. The hubris will be their downfall, so we will use that to their advantage. And by we, I mean you. There is a goblin scout by the name of Snart who has been spotted in several different areas outside of the camps. He sought Sorofin attempting to, or he caught Sorofin attempting to lead more refugees out of Paolo Men in exchange for letting our citizens get to safety. He asked Sorofin to deliver a message to me saying he wants to talk. I don't trust these cunning devils. So I need someone who can hold their own and fight and go talk to them. There is unfortunately a problem when it comes to finding Snart. What is the problem? Uh, Molly Wynn winces painfully before speaking. This little deviant doesn't think we're smart enough or strong enough to help him. So he's made, he has made trying to speak to him a chore. These monsters have been tormenting us. For some time now, their cruelty always finds a new low. The other problem is that he seems to be everywhere all at once. Sorfin has run into him in a couple of times, and each time she finds him in a new uh, vicious way to cause torment to our people. He wants us to find him, but he won't tell us where he is. Which leaves us to a very little in options, in the way of options. The only option I can see is you have to find who he commands and get information out of them. You will need to convince them to tell you where he is. Start there and once you find Start, speak to him and see what his plans are. Then come back to me. Alright. Kill goblins and find out where Start is. Alright, so... I think we're uh, ready to actually do something here. Everybody's got four quests. Now, where are the goblins? That is a good question. They're all over here. Uh, There's Snart on the map. So if we just go da back down there, we should be able to find him. I'm going to go in Viz. And we're not going to do auto follow here. Uh, I find these guys just go in circles. <laughs> it's just terrible here. I could be doing having some lag or something. I don't know. I've, I've been having network issues, but it is unpleasant let's just say that i uh, trying to auto follow characters around here especially like during the mission i don't know that one's even more laggy uh but we want to get over here to the goblins there you go see so here's all the goblins in there should be fine uh let's call like right here maybe Uh, probably not the smartest idea. They're too close, I think. Let's go up here. Yes, I am going to call them, uh, <laughs> call them a few feet away. As soon as it clears. Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is the last zone we need to do for, uh, we're in song. So this is going to be exciting for me. All right, I don't know how many we're going to get, but let's just get them up here. Oh my gosh, that guy like, just drop kicked me. 49k, 35k, 49k, 42k, 49k. Wow. So this is a tier two zone. Um, like all the other two tier, tier two zones, it is harder. And... Uh, <laughs> As you can see now, I'm, I should be buffed. I'm missing. I'm missing one thing. I miss. I changed spells and I didn't save them. Ah. All right, that's annoying. I uh, I got my 124 spells on a few characters and I did not save his spell slot. So I'll fix that here in a minute. Right, looks like we just gotta kill a goblin and uh, we're gonna get a clue in theory. Alright.
right, we only got three clues. And we got a trophy. All right, now we need to speak to Snart. He is right behind us. Kind of set up the spot very specifically. He's like right over here. Can you read the clue? I don't know. I've never even tried. Yeah. You beat around the bush. Your brain is full of mush. I'll be closer to the falls than I am to the talls. They say east is a beast, but west is best. All right. So there's a waterfall like right here. So the tall people are there. And this is the west side of the zone inside of a bush. All right, hail him. Oh, jeez, hold on. I think almost killed me too, jeez. Where to go? All right, these bug things are part of the, uh, the mercenary quest, so. Make sure you kill them. Oh, the queen is up. I wonder if anybody's camping it. There are 13 players in zone, so I suspect there is. I'm not going to mess with that right now. All right, let's kill this guy, and then we'll go talk to him again. Uh, it updated the text, but I want to see what it actually says. Go. Man, these things have a lot more hit points, I feel like. Like, I'm doing less damage. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely feel like I'm doing less damage than I was yesterday. There we go. Come on. He's all he's not dotted up. What is wrong here? Why are you not dotting? I must not have hit the button, honestly. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, he's right over here. Behind everything. Hail him again. Alright, he did. I just can't see. He doesn't see invis. Oh man, I can't. Alright, let's do the bard then. And. Alright, hail him. There we go. Snart guffles loudly. A spittle flying out of his mouth while. Laughter bellows over Palomen. Luckily, the sound coming from the trees downs the laughter from being heard by others. What a disgrace. I can vanish without a trace, and your boss sends a fresh face. He will be remembered as a coward, and I will sure be sure to pay that forward. Now the matter at hand involves you helping me with my plan. In my way, there is a fool named Bard. Finding her won't be hard, as she likes to spend her time in the yard. She has Doc's ear, and that has been grinding my gears. She goes nowhere without her trusty stabber. Go find her, stab her, and then bring me that dagger. Alright, so we need to deliver this riddle off uh, to, the, uh, to the boss. I have my... Uh, I have my campfire set there, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there's the queen right there. Like, <laughs> we're about to turn in this stuff. And uh, she's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull her because it doesn't look like she's engaged at all. And I think I can get her with my bard. 
Let's see. Oh, jeez, what happened there? Oh my gosh, that fox. I didn't even know these were aggressive. Oh my god, he killed two people. <laughs> jeez. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, oh, it's just a little passive fox. I'm not going to worry about that. Oh my gosh, he just killed two. All right. Uh, wow, that is, well, that is hilarious. Blessing and resurrection. Yes. That was a little too funny. And do your res item on your hand. All right. Well, that was unfortunate. Let's do cannibalize. Yeah. Oh my god, Alter, she died. What the hell am I doing? Alright, I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. I'm literally not paying attention, I guess. Alright, everybody's rebuffed. Uh, we're gonna try the kit, the queen, now. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just terrible at the game, I guess. Defensive, slowed, all right, let's get there. Right, we'll have an easier time killing this name than we will that fox. I have no idea. You know, first video of the morning, right? And, you know, I'm not fully awake, I guess, is going to be my excuse, but I don't think it's really an excuse. And we're getting a named kill in here. Oh, I just noticed. That's why they're missing uh, a bunch of hit points. There we go. Now he's at 555. The shaman was lacking uh, her her aura. I need to do it on the bard too. I can do that later. There we go. Get some more dots going. Looking good here, looking good. I need to refresh those dots. Yeah, these names have just so many hit points. It's like insane. And it does not look like wounds landed. I was, uh, I did that one first, so all my diseases. Oh, I have flesh rods decay landed. These wounds did not. There it is, finally. I have uh, two dot buttons. I might have hit the wrong one in the wrong order or something. There we go. And this is easier than a fox, I'll tell you what. Alright, now that we lost... <laughs> We lost clarity, unfortunately, uh, on the shaman. That really, honestly, not having clarity on the shaman really hurts the shaman's uh, uh, mana regen. Like uh, I, I do uh, crescendo chorus and all that with my uh, my bard. Clarity just adds that extra little bit that gets you over the hump. 
There we go, and... Two percent. All right, there we go. All right, we get a minor etched uh, rune. I'm gonna give that to the cleric. Uh, we get tier two pants. Give those to her. This is the dexterity aug. I think I already have one on Holdridge. I'm gonna give this one to the bard. Yeah, you get that from the uh, mission for sure. All right. <laughs> now that we finished that and died and uh, everything, so we need to give the riddle here to Mollywin. Let's go ahead and hand that over. Oh my god. <laughs> Mollywin cringes as you tell him about your conversation with Snart. Gods, he says, annoyed. What an annoying little cretin. Uh, luckily, he's too smart for his own good, and we can use that against him. Glorbard is the leader of the goblins in Pal Lomen. She's been directing their cruelty, so it makes sense that he would want to get her out of his way. However... What is very interesting is relationship between Girlbard and their leader, Doc. Doc has an unrelenting need for us on salt. Girlbald in his conscious, if uh, you want to call her th conscience, if you want to call her that. Girlbald is in his conscience. If you want to call her that. Without her, Doc would be more likely to start making terrible calls, which will help destabilize the rest of the Ralosians. When you erode the trust in the management, the ranks, the rank and file will get restless. That's when we will strike. He quickly corrects himself. I mean, that is when we will get the rest of our people or get the rest of our people out of here. All right, I can't read today, so I should just stop now. But All right, we need to go find this guy. Uh, he's on the map over here. Uh, so we need to go back to by Snart, just go around and uh, try to pull it out of there. There's a lot of goblins around here, so it'll be a tricky operation, but uh, I think we can do it. So I'm going to head over there and get that done. All right, so the bard is right up there, right? And we got uh, millions of mobs. I've been pulling like, nonstop, <laughs> uh, trying to uh, trying to get enough clear that we can get this guy here. So let's uh, Sonic and fade. Oh, that didn't work. She got stunned. All right. All right, well, I'm going to have to try again, I guess. I might be able to... I got two of them, I guess. Three. I can handle three. All right. Armor. No, <laughs> Jesus. What a joke. Oh, man, that was terrible. All right, uh, where's my Necro? can salvage this. Actually, let's do this. Same resurrection. Go. All right, let's go pure healing here. The dumb thing is, is I do not know where I have my, uh... Oh, there it is right there. Perfect. Hunt one of these guys. Where's the shaman? HP on him real quick. I'll start trying to get stuff slowed, I guess.
go. Gift. I'm gonna try to recover from this here. Grace of Unity. Blessing of Resurrection. Yes. Oh my gosh, recovered. <laughs> ish. Recovered ish. Oh, the pets off tanking really helped out there. Uh, there we go. Alright, there's the bard. When you're doing everything yourself, it's a little tricky sometimes. Uh, so keep that in mind. I got a little mana left. Go. Start just trying to get rebuffed there with like you know whatever we can. And that's the level 121 mage pet that was that was tanking like two of those. This is water elemental right there. The uh, necro pet was tanking something else, I think. Plus all the swarm pets, they, uh, they're fantastic. All right. All right, looks like we got more than one. What is that? Oh my God, stupid foxes. All right, all right we got these daggers. Let's uh, distribute these, right? Hopefully there's enough for everybody. So we don't have to do this part again. That's just it's just a tricky pull, and I guess there's more I could have done there to resolve that. Oh, but here we are. Oh my god, we got another ad. Everything that was, that was here is respawning, so this is not great. I don't have any buffs on yet. Uh, I'm going to switch to this guy get him slowed. Target you. Punt him out of the way. I don't care if they... I don't care if he's beating on a pet. I uh, should be fine in the most, most situations. Alright, Fox is dead. Right, this is <laughs> recovered. I just, I wish I would, I, I could, I wish I could have like pop up uh, damage so I could see like the critical, you know, the big hits that I get hit with. I, you know, having that thing over here on the side I used to have was, uh, I think it was lagging me. <laughs> like <laughs> having text on the screen like causes lag. You can see it more on TLPs if you're going to like a like an auction zone where people are doing tons of auctions and stuff you can really see like the the uh the lag that can happen from text but uh yeah go everybody everybody's alive let's leave all that junk actually put the bard in melee. She has no buffs, so I'm going to have to take a... Uh, we have to go give this back to uh, Molly Wynn for the dagger, so... We're close to the end of this, so I'm going to have to do like a full rebuff. And... Uh, see what else I need to do there, but... You know, we made it. Like, I'm not even... I'm like, well, I have buffs. What am I... I have, uh, I don't have ageism, so I only have like 480,000 hit points right now, but I'm, you know, still chugging along on some of these. I think I, the three of them, they all hit me probably for like 50k times two or three each, so it just like splatted me really quick, but I don't really know. Just the thought there. 
All right, jeez. Let's get everybody out of the way here. Uh, where's my invis button? All right. Uh, we need to go back up there to Molly Wynn, so that's my goal. I'm going to head up there. All right, we're back here at Molly Wynn. Let's give the dagger over and see what he says. Wow. <laughs> Another paragraph. Uh, Molly Wynn's face shifts from a chiseled stoicism to a approving nod accompanied by an impressed frown. You think the frown is just how his face is shaped, but it does appear that he approves of your assistance. Bard's dagger? Well, this is certainly proof that you can handle yourself <laughs> through a million deaths. Thank you for bringing me this. It fills me with hope. Maybe we can survive this ordeal after all. You almost could swear that you could see half a smile form on his face. I will let the others know who are a part of the evacuation effort know what you are capable of doing. While I am doing that, bring the snart of this dagger. I am sorry that you're going to have to deal with the little devil again. Insufferable as he is, he has helped us deal a decisive blow to the Ralosians without even knowing it. Come back when you're finished. All right, so now we need to go give this to Snart. So I'm gonna run down there. Uh, just It's right over here. I, I just cut this out because I do it in biz or with a mage. Alrighty, we're back here to Snart. Let's go and hand the dagger into him and see what he says. Oh, quite a text here. Uh, let me invis up real quick so we can read it. Snart cackles as you hand him the dagger. Clearly please. With this turn of events, you fool, you tool, you piece of stool. Now that our forces no longer have a voice of reason, you should know that our deaths are, your deaths are in season. His very punchable face is smug as ever. You did me a solid, so I'll return the favor. Leave here with, leave here you stole it or your blood will be our next flavor. Snart farts while you depart. And it appears that their incessant limericks are contagious. It will be best to eat grass. I don't know. It's funny to me. All right. How we need to go all the way back up there and uh, talk to Malawin again. So uh, that is the plan gonna run back up there if you notice the mercenary quest like we're almost done with the Ralosian one and uh the swarms are uh, kind of building up because they're they, they roam around so that will be done by the third one of uh the third quest so i'm gonna run back up there now all righty we're back here at molly hail him molly nods approvingly as he sees you approach. Excellent. Snart will be the victim of his own demise. Someday, once Doc finds out about what happened, there will be enough infighting to get us the time we need to evacuate. When you get a moment, speak with Hath Hathnir, our armor. When I told the others about your work today, he said he had something he would like help with. Thank you for your help today, Holdridge. Our people owe you a debt of gratitude. All right, and we need to go catch up with Shalloween. Shalloween is down here, and Hathor is right here. So he's the second quest uh, that we'll be doing next video. Uh, and then uh, we're going to run down here to Shalloween now. All right, here we are at Shalloween. Hail her. She scans the horizon. When you are speaking to her, I remember this fateful day. We thought we had a leg up on the Ralosians. We thought we were at least safe for a while. We were wrong. Seeing this place, coming back to it again and again, and seeing this destruction in my dreams for all eternity, it wears you down. It grinds your soul and eats away at your courage. It casts doubts wherever anything you did during your life was even worth it the outcome never changes and yet 
We keep trying over and over again to fix it. We can't fix it. I understand this now. Please hold her. I beg you, stop your digging here. Leave this moment and never come back. You have been warned. All right, so we got 2.4% uh, experience for that quest. 141 platinum. Mullywin will sing our praise for uh, of our work this day. Your efforts here will not change the fate of Paolo Min. But you have further understanding now of the pain and suffering of the Eldar people had to endure. All right, there we go. All done with uh, Shady Neighbors. Uh, I believe the next one is called Shadier Neighbors, I believe. Or even Shadier Neighbors. I can't remember which one. It's, it's one of those weird. It just kind of plays on the name. Uh, but that'll be next episode. Uh, hopefully I can read by then. And if not, well, I am sorry. Thank you very much for watching. And please have a fantastic day.